All right, what's up guys, it's Kostev here, and today I'm gonna show you guys my command center. Now most people would have cleaned up a little bit for this, but nah. Alright, what's up guys? So I generally get a bunch of questions, um, usually while I'm streaming or you know in YouTube comments and things like that of what do I use to make videos, what you know gaming products do I use to you know record certain things and certain games. Um, it used to be really easy back in the day and it was everything was really simple and you just plugged in the thing, you know, plug something into one thing. Be in an Elgato and you can record everything. But as you start adding, you know, new things like that and like that and like that, it gets more and more complicated. Um, you know, not so much that though. Hey, 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 PS4. Um, but you know, it, it can get kind of complicated on how to get, you know, say the best sound quality or you know the best recording, um, different things like that. So I really kind of wanted to go through, you know, everything I use in my command center. Now most people call these videos setup videos. Now, look at this. That's a fucking command center. Like, that is a chair that a commander sits in and conducts. Shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's just really nerdy. All right, well usually, you know, the first questions I get are you having to do with my computer. Um, so obviously I've been doing a whole lot of streaming on, you know, PC and playing a whole bunch of different games um, that requires, you know, having a pretty dope computer to have and record or stream at the same time. Now, I don't know a whole lot about computers at all. This computer was given to me by Ironside PC. You should definitely go check them out. A link to their site will be in the video description below. Um, but for the most part, I know I have dual video cards. They're the 780 Ti's by Nivda or whatever. Every time I try to pronounce that, everyone roasts me in the comments. I probably got it wrong again, but I am who I is. I am who I is. But I also have some HyperX. I think 32 gigabytes of HyperX RAM in there. Uh, you know, it's liquid cooled, which is nice, you know, if you're recording, not to have those fans going nuts. I do know I have the 6 core Intel i7 processor, so the processor in here is an absolute beast. Um, and it really helps. Now, of course, I've got that connected to three new monitors. Now, you guys have seen this monitor set up in my setup videos before. Um, but I went out and got some new monitors. The boxes are over there. I got the 1 millisecond, not, not the 14K, but the 1 millisecond, you know, um, I forget what you call it. A one millisecond response time BenQ monitor. So they're mainly meant for gaming. And whenever I'm streaming, you know, on these platforms, all these consoles, I usually always switch over the monitor so that you know this is the monitor I'm used for gaming. But if I'm making YouTube videos or just generally gaming, I usually use this monitor. And I'll kind of get into why I have two different setups um, and all the fucking, you know, why I have two mics. You know, a lot of people, you know, might see this video and be like, why do you have two mics? You know, I'll, I'll get into that. So I do use a Razer. I don't know what it, this keyboard is, honestly. It's a, it's like the Razorback, I want to say, or I don't even know. I'm, this is the worst setup video ever. I'm looking at the boxes. I can't see the box, but it was a, a present um, from Parker for my birthday and Christmas last year, and she also got me this one. I know this is a Razer Naga mouse. I know that much. Um, it's even got this cool little thing that you can charge because um, it can be wireless. Right now, I have it plugged in because I like to be wired, but you can like totally unplug this, and it'd be a wireless mouse. Somehow. Oh, there's a fancy button. I don't even know if it works. Oh, well, yeah. Who knows? I might have just broke it. I'm just kidding. But, yeah, you know, basically I use Razer products for my mice and my um, keyboards and things like that. And I've got this really cool pad. If you want, this is something that I kind of copied Nameless off. Uh, when Nameless came to the house, he had this really cool Razer pad and he put his keyboard and mouse on it. He didn't have this extra mouse pad. I only have this here because of the. I guess the wrist cushion. But it's really cool that you can put your keyboard and your mouse all on one big pad. I honestly was really jealous of that and went and got one like right away. As did all everyone else in the house. Um and for sound, you know, I've got a lot I got a Logitech, I guess, speaker system. It comes with five speakers. The other two over there, although I never hear them shits. Um, but they're all right here. And how I have uh, you know for PC gaming and stuff like that, of course I'm using an Astro Mix amp. This is still like the best option, I think. Um, for you know, when you, if you're a streamer, or you're recording, so that you can get PC sound and game sound um, all into one headset, and also use it as a mic. It can be, you know, this is kind of a lifesaver in a lot of ways. Still a really cool. One. I went and got the new one. This is the new Astro Mix amp. I had the old one um, and things like that. So, but I want to now is to kind of get into my sound setup. Now, this is all Audio Technica. These are AT2020 mics, um, both of them. 
And then when I'm using my PC or my laptop uh, at events and stuff like that, or if I'm doing anything else um, around the house or I'm using the laptop to record and stream from, I use the AT2035. Uh, um, all really high quality products from Audio Technica. They're literally the best. Anybody will tell you that. Um, but, so how I have this set up is these both are XLR powered. So if you wonder what that is, it means this, these things. They're a bit, uh, you know, they're big ass cores. <laughs> Probably not what you're used to. They're these three prong things right here. Um, and obviously, you want to put these into your computer somehow so that you can, you also have to power them because these are unpowered mics. You know, you have to power them from a source and it's through this cable. I have this Mackie mixer, which I think it's called, it's a Mackie mixer. And I have both my mics plugged into it. And then it goes into my computer via line in. So whenever you guys hear me talking in any of my videos, you're hearing me through a line in, not a USB. Um, that's how I kind of wanted to have it set up. I prefer line in um, over USB um, when you're recording for just quality and such. Um, thanks, Nemo. He's the one who kind of tipped me off to that. Um, so that's how I have all that set up. And I usually flip these knobs depending where I'm sitting. So if it's like that, that means I'm using this mic and sitting over there to record. And then whenever I'm on my PC, I have to switch this one up and turn this one down. Um, so, or I can, I mean, you can have both of them on, but they'd be kind of like, you'd be hearing sound from both mics and it can be kind of fluky or whatever like that, so. That's how I have it set up, and the reason why I have two mics um, is that, you know, I had like having three monitors for as much editing, and especially with streaming and different things like that, you always kind of want, damn it, I gotta plug this thing back in. I don't, I don't know how to set it up. I've never set it up. Well, I don't think you have to plug this thing in. Yeah, you gotta plug it into this thing for it to be wireless. I didn't have that plugged in. But, you know, while I'm streaming, you know, I want to have all three monitors, because I usually have all, like, like pop-ups over there, and then the stream chat, and the actually OBS on that one, and whatever I'm playing in the middle. Um, and whenever I would be recording console just to make videos, I always thought it was really annoying to have to go through this massive menu and go all the way down the system and have to, every single time I want to do it, I had to switch. And then it also, whenever I was using it, you know, I, I would still lose my mouse in here and sometimes I'd click on buttons and they'd show up here and I'd have to switch it. And it's just a really big pain in the ass overall. So whenever I'm streaming, or not streaming, whenever I'm recording and doing things like that, um, I simply use an Elgato and then the output goes to here. And I just move my chair over here and I use this mic to record instead of having to you know, move over here. So, but, you know, that did lead to a problem where I used to only have one mic. And every single time I would switch from recording PC to recording console, I'd have to move my mic. Um, so I spoiled myself and just went and got two. So now your boy's just got a straight up studio. It looks like a, I'd be dropping bars, but really I just have two mics because I'm tired and I didn't want to keep having to move my mic over and over and over again. So that's the reason why I got those two. But those two, you know, go straight into my computer via line in. That's how, um, how I record all my voice now. When I'm, you know, recording and playing on Xbox, they hear me through my headset, um, which is I use an Audio Technica PG1, um, one of their newer headsets that they have. We used to use these ones. And they're a little bit higher fidelity and they're, you know, a little bit nicer, but they're big and really drown out a lot of sound. Whereas these are, you know, nice and lightweight. You can wear them from a really long time. And the mic quality is decent so that you don't get people roasting you on Xbox Live and things like that for having a shit mic. But all this talk, if you did notice, your boy got a PS4. I am finally back on PS4. And most of you probably don't know, but the original fans from back in the day know that I started out on PS3, that I've always been PlayStation. I was PS2, PS1, was fully against the Xbox for the longest time, but then your boy's YouTube channel started taking off and all the people I started collaborating with and the people, the fans that I want to interact with were all on 360. Um, and things like that, because that was extremely popular over PS3 back in like the Black Ops 2 day. It really was. But this thing sucks. So, you know, we had never really even used it. See all that dust on it? Mm mm. I've probably made three YouTube videos on it in the last like two years that it's been out or whatever. Simply because you cannot record game chat and have a headset on them hear you through this without recording your own voice through your headset. And obviously, I like to use my nice mics. Um, things like that to change my voice because as you know just like everybody else I hate the sound of my voice and I like to mess with it so yep your boys back on ps4 now ps4 did get announced that they partnered up with X or call of duty um, so that all the early DLC and everything's gonna come out on PlayStation now and I couldn't be more tickled because black ops 3 also has theater mode confirmed um, and with this thing being able to record voices just like you used to be able to do on the 360 it is the savior it is the savior um, Black Ops 3 combined with this system could mean Call of Duty might be fun on YouTube again. Like if you do, if YouTube Call of Duty came back, where all the people and all the content creators started really getting into it, just like in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1, um, you, it would just take off. COD would be reborn, revived, and I really hope it does. It's still one of my favorite games. It's still my favorite first-person shooter. 
But, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a PS4, pretty epic. But, of course, I got the Xbox One and the 360 over here. Now, I record all three consoles using my Elgato HD60. Simply, I take the, you know, the HDMI cable out of all the back of these consoles, plug it into here, and then, you know, through this cable, it goes and records to my computer, and through this one, it goes back out to the TV, as you're seeing now. Um, and with that software, and with the HD60, I can put my voice in with this gameplay, have it kind of automatically turn down the game whenever I speak, so I win every argument and yelling fight on Call of Duty. Um, and it all puts it into one really clean file, and it's really friendly with Vegas and everything for editing, so HD60 is just literally the best way to record gameplay simply. Um, and things like that. Now you can get, I had to do have a capture card that I just got for streaming, uh, but its recording software is terrible. And actually, you know, the actual card, the device, the hardware is amazing. It makes streaming ex extremely easy. Um, but for recording videos, nah, their, their software is terrible. Believe it or not, there's that one example of an internal device being less than an external. Um, and I really do think it's this. So this, this makes it a lot easier and simpler and just for time's sake. When your boy uploads 10-minute trolling videos almost every day or 10-minute funny moments videos every day, um, having you know an easy recording device makes it a lot easier. <laughs> All right, so we'll get to you know, we'll back up a little bit and get to the furniture. Of course, I've always forever been rocking the two picnic table set up. I've always been doing this. It's kind of like the thing I've been doing since college where I get these two really long plastic Walmart tables. Really cheap that you can you know, replace every couple years because they warp from all the shit you put on them. Um, but you know you can get two of them. They're probably like $40 a piece and they make for a pretty epic desk. I spoiled myself because I got this big ass room and got a third one so that when I had sponsors or people that wanted to come over or just you know p other friends from the house that wanted to come down and chill they'd have this place to sit and chill. Now it's covered in crap right now. I was going to clean this thing as you saw in the intro, or I was going to clean up a bit more. I just didn't because, I don't know, nah, it's already kind of late and your boy wants to stream tonight. We're going to be streaming Seven Days to Die. It's a game that came out like a two years ago, but it's basically Reign of Kings, Minecraft, Game of Thrones, zombies, everything all, you know, all into one game. <clears throat> so we're really looking forward to playing that and stuff like that so but oh you can see I also rock the GTO Mega Racing chair I've got three of them in here because we balling over here at TK I'm just kidding um, they sent us a whole bunch of chairs to the house and we had a couple left over and I was like you know what I am stealing those from my office um, and those are now mine as you can I will even go show you we have like a graveyard of boxes and chairs over here this is all the old stuff all the old beds all the old chairs I don't know if you can really see that there's a, there's a lot of them all that kind of stuff. And that's my storage room. We're gonna eventually make that into a gym, but right now it's a storage room. Yeah, but over here you can kind of see that. If you've seen my other video, this is the Voyager Command Center. This is the command center I take to events, and it's got all the wires and everything I need to do all that stuff. Um, it's pretty epic. I'm right here. I've got you know Audio Technica that just hooked us up with another care package, um, and they sent all our players new M50X headphones or studio headphones. They're pretty dope, actually. I haven't even got really to use mine on, you know, traveling to an event yet, but they're they're pretty serious. There are some serious headsets, but it's pretty cool. And the thing I'm really excited about, I didn't even have it set up. I wanted to have it set up for this video, but I didn't have time, is I wanted to use this camera actually to do it. But this is, you know, a camera I got a little while ago, but Audio Technica sent us this really cool wireless recording mic system. So now at events, you can kind of see, I don't want to like attach it, but you attach that on there and then it plugs into the mic port for the, mi uh, for the camera. And you put a, basically a wireless mic on like say Sharp or anybody else and I can kind of like run around filming them with that camera and they'll have perfect mic quality no matter where they're standing because it's all wireless up to like, I forget how many feet but it's a lot. But that's pretty cool. Of course we got, of course we got Nerf guns because motherfuckers be tripping and they run up in here. I gotta like teach them lessons. Over here is something that I'm working on. You know, some of these two, I found out after I ordered them of course that these aren't the originals but like the throwback classic collections that got released like I don't know five or six years ago. Um, and it's all the original figurine action figures. I had these when I was growing up. Ninja Turtles was like my favorite show ever. I used to go to Burger King, get the Happy Meals or whatever, just to get the little v VHS tapes that would come with it. So I saw these and they're like the exact figures. So I went and got the whole set. Uh, I even got the original April O'Neil. This is the original one. This one's actually old. That's why it's in a plastic bag and stuff like that. Um, I don't have Leonardo yet. It's still being shipped. Of course, I got the Wicked Mandalorian helmet that I wear while I'm streaming. Over there is a cot, most comfortable bed probably in the whole house actually. It doesn't look like it, but for this like $150 memory foam cot, it is actually incredibly, incredibly comfortable. I sleep there, you know, whenever I'm working really, really late and I can only sleep for like an hour or two or when Parker's mad at me. 
that's pretty much why that's over here. Now I got like a little mini place where I put some of my clothes and stuff because sometimes I tend to live out of this office. You know, if Parker has gone away back to California for like a week or two to visit family, yeah, I live down here. There's my bed, there's where I put all my clothes and food comes by delivery men through there. <laughs> yeah, but I got some of my older jerseys. Um, as you can see, I framed a lot of them. So, but I got some of the older jerseys here. Here's one of the originals, the original jerseys. You can tell by our sponsors that it's forever ago, but it's really cool. There's the all blackout one. I got all my little bags here. Here's one I got. I got it in Las Vegas when we went there because I had nothing else to have. But of course I've got like the, my MLG bag in here, my Gamma Labs bag. I think I even got a Control Freak one in there as well. And then I've got all my you know, apparel. I've got boxes of this stuff. There's one. There's two more in there. But I got boxes of my t-shirts and different things like that for when people come over. I usually give them some TK and some Goon Squad and some Costaff apparel. So I got like Goon Squad shirts. And you can get all that at ponentwear.com slash KOSDFF. So we got all types of stuff that goes in there. And then I got my guitars. I used to be good at that. I played in college and haven't played really since. I played like my whole life actually, but I haven't played since college. That's been quite a long time ago. That's where we put all the mail. That's really important. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this command center video. That's what we're calling it. It's not a setup video. It's a command center video. Um, they're showing you like all the different things I use to record. And, you know, my new PS4, which I'm really proud of. Um, my crazy mic setup. Beast computer. I didn't show you that. That's like the one non-kitty thing in here. And I had to kitty it up, so I, I like, wrote graffiti on it. But there's my filing cabinet. And that's where they're, like, the only professional thing in this whole time. That's where like all the paper documents and things like that go, checks and contracts and all the boring crap. I didn't really go over the printer because that's an archaic piece of technology. No one really needs that anymore, but I have it anyways, just in case. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. The command center. I know it's impressive. Boner inspiring, some would say. No! Alright, well I gotta get this video out because we streaming tonight. We streaming. Come watch us. Twitch.tv slash KOSDFF. Hope to see you there.